The Houthis will target U.S. and European ships in the Red Sea with Russian missiles. Russia might arm Yemen's Houthi rebels with advanced anti-ship missiles in response to Ukraine's use of American weapons on its territory, U.S. intelligence agencies are warning, according to the Wall Street Journal. The news comes as Israel is threatening to strike Yemen in response to a deadly drone attack on Tel Aviv, the first lethal Houthi strike on Israel. According to the newspaper, Washington is working behind the scenes to stop the arms transfer. Meanwhile, U.S. Central Command Chief Eric Kurilla, who was said to warn that U.S.-led operations were failing to prevent Houthi attacks on the Red Sea. In a classified letter to U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, Kurilla reportedly called for potentially stronger military action and a whole-of-government approach that would step up diplomatic and economic pressure on the Houthis. Many people found the tone of the memo to be a bit shocking. The journal quoted a defense official as saying, According to the official, Kurilla's point was that U.S. service members will die if we continue going this way. The U.S. and other nations, notably Britain, have carried out extensive airstrikes on Houthi targets in Yemen in an effort to forestall the Iran-backed rebels' attacks on merchant ships in the Red Sea. Middle East Eye reported in June that Saudi Arabia had talked Russia out of providing anti-ship cruise missiles to the Houthis. However, U.S. intelligence services assesses that Moscow is renewing its push to arm the Houthis after the White House approved Kiev's use of U.S.-made weapons to strike targets inside Russia, the journal said, adding that the nature of the intelligence was unclear. The newspaper said the White House is making a diplomatic push through a third country to dissuade Russia from the arms transfer. The Houthis already possess a robust anti-ship arsenal. While most of their missile attacks on vessels have missed the mark, several ships have been damaged and a couple have been sunk outright. New such weapons from Russia would increase their ability to hit seagoing targets. Russia has a wide range of anti-ship missiles it could offer, from subsonic to supersonic types, which could threaten U.S. Navy vessels directly. Hezbollah, another Iranian proxy, is thought to have received a handful of Yakonts, the export version of the supersonic P-800 Onyx anti-ship missile, which poses a serious threat to U.S. and Allied warships. Drone strike. Пиздец, блядь! Drone strike. Пиздец, блядь! There was a drone attack on Russia's Rostov region. Local telegram channels reported on this. It is said that Ukrainian drones attacked the Milarovo airfield. According to information, there were at least 16 explosions in the airfield area, and a fire broke out in the parking lot and the runway. It is also said that explosions were heard near the oil base. There are no reports of casualties or damage. Additionally, there are online reports of explosions near the village of Dolotinka and in the area of the oil depot. It should be noted that the Milarovo military airfield is located 5 kilometers northwest of the city of Milarovo, which is part of the village of Dolotinka. According to open sources, the 31st Fighter Aviation Regiment of the 1st Mixed Aviation Division of the Russian Aerospace Forces is based at this airfield. It is worth noting that this enemy airbase has been hit before. Previously, there were reports of attacks on the airfield using Tochkayu missiles and drones. Earlier, the authorities of the Rostov region reported a massive air attack using drones. The regional governor initially claimed that over 10 drones had been allegedly shot down, and by morning, he reported that air defense systems had destroyed and intercepted 26 UAVs overnight. The Russian official asserted that no one was injured and that emergency services were dispatched to the sites where UAV debris fell.